Okay. So, first of all, congratulations. Uh, in Romania, on the most visited mobile phones related to website, Mobilissimo.ro, the HTC One was chosen the phone of uh, year 2030. Uh, both editors and readers. Uh, so uh, this, after Samsung won three years in a row, uh, this title. Uh, what do you think, why this phone, the HTC One, didn't have bigger sales? Uh, what HTC would do if, at this point, we'll be at the very beginning of the 13, 2013? I think, first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for the award. It's, uh, it's really special for us. And actually, that's shown, for example, yesterday we won the uh, phone of the year at the show here. So for us, our continuing effort is about making great phones that work in people's hands. One of the things that uh, Peter and Cher, our, our, our president and um, our shareholder, said on the stage yesterday was about making great design work with great uh, inside and out. So we really want to make sure that we keep developing phones that offer that and then uh, we we're in, we'll be uh, a much greater force in the market and I think that we're very happy with the one family and the sales at the moment and we want to just carry on that strength uh, with our with our flagships uh, going forward so so you would not change the strategy if we would be at the beginning of uh, last year 2013 I think for us it's about making great phones and uh, we've proved that we've uh, made a great phone with all the awards and thank you very much again for the one from yourself so uh, that's the most important thing for us we put the consumer at the part of everything we do and if you have a great phone that wins the awards that means that the cons and especially as you said from yours it was voted by your readers so again that just proves that we've, we've really focused where we want to do on, on the consumer and that's what we're going to carry on doing so HTC launched both Mini and Max versions of the HTC One family, but the sales weren't so great as the HTC One. I mean in particular at HTC One Max, a device that should have been a great rival for the Galaxy Note. Uh, don't you think that the lack of a stylus and a couple of software features is the reason why the device wasn't a true hit on the market? I, I would say that if you look at the, the HTC One and the HTC One Mini, we, we created a family and, and that's where HTC uh, sees itself as, as making a phone that one size doesn't fit all and we think that as that family is, is our most successful family uh, in HTC's history so we're, we're very happy about how we design that and we of course want to, to make sure we design things that please people and things like that so we're always looking at those aspects to, to make sure that uh, we have improvements in future devices but but at that time we we incredibly focused at making sure it was it was right for the consumer itself but the, obviously the HTC one the main product in that family was the main seller so we we're, we're very happy that that is uh, that has shown it in your uh, your initiative as well that it was the largest seller of the three of the range anyway Given the fact that HTC had, uh, through HTC Flyer, one of the first few tablets with a stylus and the related features, do you think that it was an inspired choice to not continue in the same method? Um, I think we always look to, uh, to, to see how we can make those moments uh, usable and, and actually, obviously, the, your finger is a, is a great stylus as well, so we think, and as you've seen with the HTC One, we've won awards for that, that doesn't have a stylus. That's not to say that we won't look at that technology anymore, it is obviously very important for us to make sure that we, uh, we have the, the best technology in the market, but it has to be, um, as Cher and Peter says, that synergy between great design and great usability coming together and making a, a, a wonderful product. So when we, uh, when we hit that, um, that element, you'll of course see, uh, see other uh, devices from HTC. Uh, we know that HTC wants to acquire a bigger market uh, share with low and middle and uh, devices in uh, 2014. What are your expectations in this year on this, on this market? Well, so if you look at what we've announced here at MWC, we've allowed, announced our flagship in the affordable range. That's the, uh, eight, uh, the 816, the Desire 816. So this device is an outstanding device in that mid-tier segment. It has a brilliant 5.5-inch display. 
uh, and it has the boom sound that is the same as the HTC One, so you can see the design elements are the same, but it also has expandable memory on the side of the device, so you can open the side up and have an SD card slot with a quad, quad core processor inside. But first of all, if you look at that design and usability coming together, that can be seen in the camera. It has a 13 megapixel rear uh, facing camera, but a 5 megapixel front facing camera. And that 5 megapixel front facing camera is obviously outstanding for taking shots, but it's that combination with the HTC Sense software. So, for example, if you want to take a selfie, you just tap anywhere in the screen and it will start the countdown timer and take that picture. And then you can adjust the picture itself. It's not just about taking the great stills, it's about being able to, to use them and manipulate them. So the HTC One and the, eight, the new flagship in the Desire range, the HTC Desire 816, is two outstanding flagships in the HTC portfolio. And we believe that there'll be great products for us in the coming 2014. What do you think HTC devices will have besides other devices uh, released by competition? The reason why a potential client will choose your brand instead? Well, if you look at HTC's heritage, we're very much, I think, if you look at all the products in our range and you compare them to the market, you'll see that our design designers create the best products. And, and as uh, we've, we've always talked about is that people at the center so our designs are not only beautiful but usable and that really stands us out in the in the crowded market of the smartphone world as it's creating just great devices that people want to use touch and give a great experience on march 25 uh, htc will launch the new one uh, this will be the htc's flagship for this year so obviously in March 25, we have a great announcement, which we're really looking forward to telling you guys about. And we think that we, uh, we have something ultra special for you and we just can't wait to tell you. But at this time, we're not uh, confirming anything else other than that. But all I'd say is come back on the 25th and you will be super excited as we are because we know that it's brilliant. And obviously with the uh, Desire 816, being our flagship here, we know we've got a, another uh, flagship in that affordable segment as well. Does uh, HTC intend to get back on the tablet market this year? For HTC, we always look at the uh, mobile in, uh, areas. And for example, tablets and wearables is something that of great interest to us. Uh, but until we're ready to announce something, um, we, we will be, uh, we'll hold that back until we can, uh, can give you something. But we want to make sure that, as, as with our phones, we, uh, we uh, synergy between design and usability and actually offer something unique in, in that marketplace. So once we have that uh, ready to show you, we of course bring it out and show you guys still. Any Windows phone this year? So of course uh, Microsoft is a partner of us and we have have that heritage with them so we're always talking to them. Uh, but uh, for us it's about launching a phone that has that uh, usability. Uh, apologies for keep going on but we firmly believe that is what uh, differentiates us from, uh, from the other smartphone markets is that we really concentrate on putting that consumer at the person. So w we actually don't mind what the operating system is. Uh, it's just about making sure that it offers a great experience. And that's what we've done with the 816. Obviously, it's running the latest version of Android KitKat, but we've only really talked about those software, the um, taking the selfies and things like that. Final question. Um, we are a little bit curious what uh, smartphone do you have? And if you have a tablet, which model? Well, actually, I actually am running the, uh, the, the 816, the new flagship phone from, from us as well, because for me, this is a 5.5-inch display. Uh, while on the flight here to Barcelona, I was watching some TV shows on it, but it has great sound from the boom sound, so I actually don't feel like I need to have anything else. I, I run this and, and a laptop, obviously, uh, for my uh, work. I don't run a tablet, no, because this device actually is, a, is all in one. I have a, my, my screen, my technology as well in that. Um, what is your message for uh, the HTC Romanians uh, users and uh, for the Mobilissimo.ro readers? Well, first off, I'd like to thank them for that award because obviously it means so much to us that actually your readers uh, have voted for uh, for our phone as well because we really do appreciate everything uh, that's been said about HTC and we are a very humble company. We really do like 
the creating phones for people. So, so uh, I'd just like to say thank you, and you, you'll see more of us. And hopefully, with the with the latest flagship that we uh, we announce, you'll you'll be super excited uh, in that uh, for that device as well. So, but there's more to come, obviously, from HTC. Thank you. Thank you.